Hey there, what's up? <clears throat> we have a Kali request for installing Homebrew, but I do not have a Kali installation. So I'm going to juice one up in my Hyper-V because I am running Windows 11 Pro here. Um, here is my Ubuntu that I usually make the vids from, but this is the, uh, the old Windows, so. I found the instructions at cali.org slash docs. And here it is, Cali Inside Hyper-B Guest VM. And this bit of instruction said to go download the ISO. So I did that somewhere. That was it. Uh, there are virtual machines available or other platforms such as VMware and VirtualBox and Kimu. However, there are no such VMs available for this uh, Microsoft Hyper-V. So anyhow, I grabbed an installer image, the 64-bit recommended 3.5 gigabyte installer, which is right there. Um, back to my hyper B manager. I imagine we can have to create a new VM. And I did not mean to click that. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know, new virtual machine. What does this say to do? Hyper B manager, quick create. All right, I'm glad I uh, actually read it. Oh, I got tricked. That was the image. Quick create. Change installation source to our downloads. Cali. I don't know what it says about any of these first options. Looks like this virtual machine will run, run Windows, enables Windows Secure Boot, has to be disabled because, well, it's Kali Linux and not Windows. Is there anything else? Name. Let's give it a name. Is it going to let us more options? New virtual machine. We'll change that to Kali Linux as well. Default switch will be fine. That's for networking. And that'll give it access to the internet. Okay, something was successful. The VM was created to successfully. We can either select connect if we are confident in Windows selections for options, or we can select edit settings. Let's try edit settings. A whole bunch of stuff, but we are checking the RAM, the memory, four gigabytes or so. What do they say? We don't need to mess with any of the, the weights or anything like that because we're not really, this isn't a production deal. So let's connect. And then it says in the background there, set up like normal. So let's try it. Unable to allocate. Oh, I'll have to shut down a VM. Turn off. Um, I should have shut down. I, I didn't really, I clicked too quick. That was silly. Continue. Graphical install. Sounds good. Enter. Some failures there. Failed something, but... I guess it's not, or it's inconsequential to us. I'm just going to go ahead with the defaults. I'm speaking English in North America. Oh, I almost thought I was going to give up. Loading additional components. So, how's tricks? Oh, wait, that's not one of those. Tempting IPv6, configuring the network with DHCP. That would be from the 
virtualized networking. We'll leave Kali as the host name. <coughs> uh, we're not going to mess with any domain naming. We're just going to continue. A user account will be created for you instead of the root account for non-administrative activities. Please enter the real name of this user, full name of the user. I am Rusa Jones. So the username, Rust is cool. Good password. Uh, Continue Eastern, sure. Right. So why not? Starting up the partitioner, guided use entire disk. Yes, 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 yes. All files in one partition. Yes, we're all new users. Let's yes it up. Finish partic uh, partitioning and write changes to disk. Yes, continue. If you continue. Yes, we want to continue and write those changes and destroy our disk. Since it's a virtual disk, we're all good. Installing the base system. Unpacking a whole bunch of probably tarballs. Gzip. It goes, it goes. <clears throat> it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. Installing, unpacking. Yeah, I guess it's just gonna take it take its time. What are you gonna do? Go get a coffee. Back in the days with the compiles, I think it told you go get a beer or something. I don't know if that was BSD, I can't remember. Does anyone remember? What did I get it nearly right? Uh, what were they called? Ports? FreeBSD ports? My man Trevor turned me on to the BSD. Open BSD. Nowadays, I just usually jump into Ubuntu because it's simpler with all the tutorials out there. Um, Kali is a penetration testing uh, distribution of Linux, I believe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let it use whatever it wants to use for a desktop, which is a lightweight XFCE, as opposed to GNOME or KDE, which are two larger uh, desktop environments, and will resemble Windows closer than something like FXCE, I believe. It's been a long time. Couldn't even tell you what Ubuntu uses anymore. I know they tried for Unity at one point and didn't work out so well. Big push for tablets at the time, I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and hit pause because it will take a few minutes. A few minutes. Quite a bit more. But now we're installing Grub, the bootloader, which means it is about to reboot. Finishing the installation, setting the hardware clock, running update, init RAM FS, so on and so forth. Let's go, Cali. Almost. It wants to get there. Come on, buddy. simple CDD. If your system is taking a while, then don't despair because so is mine. I can move my mouse around in it. I like text. All right, we're done. Continue. Unmounting, rebooting, requesting system reboot. Let's go. All right. Looks like we're running version six, I think it said. As I said, I've never used Kali. Uh, uh, my name is Russell. And my password. It's a cool graphic. That one too. All right, we got Kali.
Cali.org. Ooh, the most advanced penetration testing distribution. All right, next video, I'm going to install Brew, or I hope to do so. And then we'll maybe check out some of these penetration testing tools.